Hello, ACL here. In this video, we're going to be talking about value searching with a hex editor. And it's very similar to string searching, except obviously you're searching for values instead of strings. And we're going to be hacking Dink Smallwood using HXD as usual. And uh, these are the only tools you'll need, the only game you'll need. And so let's let's start. So what we're going to do first is um we're going to want to try and change our coins in this example. So we have 0 right now, but if we went over here and just searched for 0 with the data type as hex values, we would get a lot of matches. In fact, if you go into the statistic view and uh it it looks like a blank screen, but right over here there's a bar and that's the uh number of zeros and there's three hundred and twenty five thousand of them so that would take a very long time there'd be a lot of guessing and checking It would probably take you your entire life so instead what we're gonna do is if you right click over here you can hide the maximum and see a histogram of all of the byte distributions in the save file meaning you can see how many times this byte occurs how many times zero occurs 31, etc. How many times each byte occurs? So in the statistics tab, we want to find something that's unused. If you go here, 0 shows up a lot, 1 shows up 80 times, 2 shows up 4 times, and you can see the count down here, and the number down here, so 3 occurs 11 times, so on, so on, and then we get to C. C occurs zero times, so that would be a good number for our gold to be. So what we do is we pick up, and any of the zero values work, but you want to pick up enough gold that it lands in one of the spots with a zero or a really low count to minimize how many times you have to try. So let's go into, uh, well first let's make a backup. So open up your, uh, your save location, copy the save file, and paste it. Save one backup. Let's do that. We're going to need that later, so save one backup. Make that. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit using a modded version of Cheat Engine to quickly change my gold to C, which I believe is 12. And you see my gold is updated. You'd want to go out and find the gold yourself, but I don't want to waste any time here. And so I'm going to save over that slot. Now if I reopen the file, save one, and if I just look for 12, which is C, oops, I've got, I've got a match right here. And just to be sure, let's do more searches. This seems to be the only one. So we can then change this to some other value, say FF, go in, uh, let's load this file again now that I've updated it. and now I have 255 gold successful so that's one way of changing values by doing a statistical search and trying to find a zero value changing the number to that so that there's only one match when you search for the value and then editing it the other way to do it is a file compare so if you uh... if you noticed we have well, let's try this again so we'll change it to some other value let's say it's Let's make it something common, one, a very common value. And I save. My backup had zero coins, and this save file has one coin. So if I open up, oops, sorry. If I go into analysis, file compare, and I open up the backup, it'll compare this and the backup. And so there's a change here, one to two. This doesn't look like it, so let's hit F6 to find the next difference. Okay, 0 to 1. This looks like the difference. This looks like the change in gold. So this value is probably the gold. And here we go. FF. Save it. See if we're correct. And load the file again. And our gold has been changed. Great. So those are two different methods of value searching with a hex editor. Um, file compare is probably the most powerful because in very large games that there's sometimes there's just too many values for the statistical analysis to work but I've actually had it be very effective regardless of that 
Either way, thanks for watching and farewell.